Howdy. Uh, this is my half of the question and answers video. The answers video. Um, Tyler's gonna do his half. Or, no, he's, he's not doing it. He's not allowed. Um, alright, first question. How old were you when you met and how did you meet? We met a long time ago in school. I don't even remember. Grade 4 or something like that. It's when we first met. So like 9, 10, something around there. Question number two, why don't you review Stoner, Doom, or Sludge Metal? At least me, I don't really listen to it a lot, so there's, I don't know a lot about it. It's a typical answer, I suppose. Um, number three, bands you haven't seen yet that you'd like to see? Oh, there's, there's not much of a list on here, oddly enough. I like to see Black Flag, I like to see Rancid, I like to see Paramore eventually. Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds, Bad Brains, all kinds of bands like that that I'd like to see. I might never really see them, but... Number four, uh, what are some bands that I despise? Um, if you would have asked me this question a year and a half, maybe two years ago, I would have a full page, a list of bands I despise, but... Um, I guess just growing up and stuff, and really watching some of the older reviews. Like, I don't really despise bands anymore. Um, I guess I've mature, matured a little bit to, point, to the point where I can say I don't really like a band, but do I despise them? No. They're just not for me, I guess. Question number five is asking something about new wave thrash metal. Uh, Tyler's going to answer that one. I don't, I don't listen to new wave thrash or anything like that, so I've, I can't really give an answer. Numero six o, uh, my favorite metal genre and why? Um, I would say metalcore, of out of all the genres, probably because most of my uh, favorable bands fall into that genre. And aside of the typical, you know, personal preference, I like what I like, you know, it appeals to me type of answer. I would say that. I like the amount of diversity in the genre. I don't like all metalcore bands, but there are a large number of metalcore bands that I do like that are really different from each other. But uh, it's just me. Um, which type of cereal goes best with which genre of metal? I I don't even know how to begin to answer that one. Um, I I I don't know. Uh, I like Reese's Puffs, and that's good enough for you. Number eight, uh, who are some musicians that uh, I draw inspiration from? Probably way back in the day, I'm going to do two, way back in the day when I um, really started getting into music, or more into music, I would say Tim Armstrong of Rancid, because he, Rancid really took me into the world of punk music. They're maybe the first or one of the first punk bands that I really, um, that really appealed to me. So I draw a large amount of influence from him still today and way back then because I just thought it was the coolest thing to be a punk guitarist. You know, that I don't care attitude, the badass attitude, but the strong sense of family within the punk community. It's, it's something that, um, at the time, it really appealed to me, and I really drew inspiration from it. I wanted to play guitar because of Tim Armstrong. Um, nowadays, uh, I would say Christopher Ruby because uh, it's just personal. But it, one thing that um, he really shows me that I'd really draw inspiration from when it comes to the guitar playing or anything like that is that something doesn't have to be impossible to play for it to be good. You know, skill is, you know, part of being a guitarist, a good guitarist, but songwriting is what Chris Ruby is all about. But yeah, he's skilled, but his songwriting is impeccable to me. It's, it's something that everyone else falls short of, at least to me, and I really draw inspiration from that, that not everything has to be, um, you know, some type of technical death metal for it to be impressive in any way. What he does is absolutely phenomenal to me, and um, I guess I take inspiration from that. It inspires me whenever I pick up a guitar that I know that I don't have to play something that's technical and that involves tapping and playing it with my toes that, to realize that it's something cool. 
Um, my favorite shows of all time that I've been to? Festivals. I have to answer festivals every time. I've been to five big music festivals. Two Mayhems, two Warped Tours, and one Uproar, and it, it really, uh, they really exceed the um, theater or club venue, that's what it is, venue shows. They really exceed those type of shows. Um, everyone that I've, every festival that I've been to is just exceedingly uh, full of experience and full of uh, just events, full of things that happen. It's very eventful, I guess you could say, instead of full of events, very eventful. But those are my favorite shows, uh, in all honesty. I can't say one festival is, you know, way better than another one because they're, they all offer their, their own experiences. In a club or a theater or a venue, you are inside and you watch maybe, I don't know, however many bands are playing going on one after another, one after another, and in between bands you just stand around in a room with full of people, but these festivals, it's, it's open, it's large, there's more than one band playing at once, and it's just an experience, really, to go through a whole day of music, and it's the eventful, that's how I can describe it. Uh, my views on same-sex marriage, uh, very threadbare to say, but whatever makes people happy, I can't judge. Whatever makes them happy, really. Numero 11. Uh, what happened to Zach? Um, as far as I can say on that, I don't, we don't really talk much anymore. I mean, um, yeah, it was easier back in high school to review things, but I mean, now we all have jobs and or attend college courses and stuff, so I mean, we're all pretty busy in our own world and stuff, but uh, as far as him, I don't, I don't know, we don't seem to talk that much anymore, so I'm not really sure. Um, number 12, what bands got you into metal? Definitely punk, uh, ska, um, hardcore punk, punk rock, whatever you want to call it, just punk. Um, bands, Rancid, Black Flag, The Casualties, Bad Brains, um, 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 who am I forgetting here, The Dead Kennedys, The Dead Milkman, The Virus, the list goes on of punk bands that got me into metal. And most people um, evolve into this sort of metal, you know, the newer age sort of metal by really coming through the classic era of classic rock and classic metal such as Black Sabbath or Led Zeppelin or um, even Metallica, but I suppose I took the other, the other way into metal um, with punk music, the aggressiveness and, you know, the hard attitude really appealed to me at the time. My favorite band at the moment, I would have to say The Devil Wears Prada. They've been my favorite for a while. Uh, number 14, basically the question is asking, what is your ideal lineup for Mayhem? And if you were in charge of this you know, Mayhem Festival, who would you acquire to play? Um, that's going to actually be a video in its own, because that, that's a long question. I, I took the liberty of being very detailed and... I, took, I made my own lineup and my own festival and everything. But that's going to be another video because it's, it's you know, worth uh, more than a couple minutes and I can spare for this one. Um, if I was in a band, what band would I open up for? I am in a band, but I suppose like my ideal band where I'm the vocalist or something, lead guitarist or whatever, um, I would be in a very versatile band. Um, I would open up for all kinds of bands. I would enjoy the crazy, uh, low, uh, low, the crazy uh, small venue shows with I Wrestled a Bear Once and The Chariot, or even the well-rounded, well-put-together, well-managed uh, events like playing with Azalea Dying or Kill Switch Engage and everything in between. It would be fun. Even your r r routine run-of-the-mill, um, you know, I see those bands like 10 times a year coming through here type of shows. It would just be fun, really. But, um, you know, I, I would be in a very versatile band where I, I could go anywhere I want, you know, you know uh, get rid of the whole scene type of uh, thing that seems to be going around. Uh, what song describes my life? 
I don't know. Um, song about a fat loser, if you know any of them. That's, that's not that's not that fat. It's a um, a hefty loser. But it looks very skinny, but on the inside they're fat. Uh, I don't know any songs that are about that, but that's my song. The song title is called Fat Loser by, uh, uh, I don't know, the Fat Loser Band. That's, that's the song that describes my life. I'm single. That's a weird question. Uh, do I admire any musicians? I chose to put this question in here as well as the uh, question talks about drawing inspiration from musicians because, you know, a short lecture on the subject, I would go as far as to say when admiration really uh, deals with idolatry, I'm not for that. You know, inspiration and pure admiration, just, oh, that guy is cool. But as far as idolatry goes, the biggest example that I can think of that I know nowadays is um, a lot of fans of, of Mice and Men really idolize Austin Carlyle to the point where it, it's almost as though he's not human. And I'm not for that, I would say. I don't idolize any band members, such as, you know, making them out to be something more than human. When it all, when it all, their band ends, they're going to get a job doing everyday things. Like, Chris the Cameron's no longer in... I wrestled a bear once, and oh man, I love Chris the Cameron, but when reality sets in, she just has a normal job now, and she's about to have a child, and she has a man, and that's, you know, normal. Like, all these people are normal, but as far as admiration goes, in the, in the sense of just pure admiration, I admire any band member that interacts with their fans, and is nice with their fans, and, uh, you know, as long as the fans aren't crazy, you know, but, uh, any band member that's just nice, it's very, it's a very down-to-earth person without an ego or anything of the sort. Uh, instruments. My first instrument that I ever played was the violin. I started playing that when I was nine years old. I played that for a few years, but over time the um, amount of practice that I put into it really uh, deteriorated into me not really playing it much anymore, but about three Three and a half years ago, I started to take up guitar and bass guitar, which I didn't really practice too heavily, and I just sort of fiddled around with them occasionally, but for the past year, I've really been playing the guitar a lot more and working on it and stuff, and in the past six or seven months, I've been playing bass guitar quite an amount. Uh, buh, 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 buh. European death metal. The EDM question. I'm pretty sure that's European death metal. Um, I don't really listen to that, so I can't really say. I'm leaving that one to Tyler as well. It's not something I know a lot about. My favorite band. You already asked that question. You never listened to me, so I'll say it again. The Devil Wears Prada. <sighs> asking the same question twice. Wow. You guys suck with these questions. They ask me the same question twice. Why don't you ever listen to me? Uh... My motivation to start reviewing music, I, I wouldn't say that I had much motiva motivation. I just thought it would be something fun and there's something to do, really. Because in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, there's not a ton of things to do. And hanging out, making videos and stuff is about the most fun you can get out of anything around here. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. How many concerts have you been to? I've been to one. One concert in my entire life. Do I smoke weed? Uh, I do not. I don't partake in that type of thing. I'm being serious about that. I joke around a lot, but I don't, I don't smoke weed or do any drugs. I'm just dumb. My favorite bands, plural. I'll let this one slide, because you already asked my favorite band twice. Uh, of course my favorite band is in the list, the Double Wears Prada, but I came up with a list of five that are, have been my favorite bands for a little while now. After the Burial, a uh, great mm, melodic deathcore, metalcore, progressive death metal, um, every genre in the world band from Minnesota. They're pretty cool. I like Paramore. They've been one of my favorites for a while now. Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds have definitely exceedingly been one of my favorite bands for the past two or so months. I've been really enjoying his work. 
I wrestled Fair once. It's probably the last one that fits in here. Um, I like their first album a lot, but the second album, second album's cool, but the first album is definitely my favorite. My guilty pleasures in music. I, I don't know how to answer that one. I don't really listen to a lot of things that I think like, wow, this sucks, but I'm gonna listen to it anyway. Um, I suppose uh, Taylor Swift occasionally. If one of her songs is playing, I wouldn't hate it. Um, the new Asking Alexandria song is kind of neat. Uh, there's one Black Veil Bride song that I've heard on the radio, their newest one. That sounds like, you know, like a normal rock band. That, that one's okay. I don't dislike it. I suppose theirs are guilty pleasures. I like All Time Low. Apparently a lot of people don't like them, so... I don't really know what the guilty pleasure would count as. Have you ever... Who have you met at Mayhem? I've met quite a few people at Mayhem Festival. I've met uh, quite a few bands. I've met uh, strangers. I, I, that's the people. I haven't met any bands. I've met a bunch of strangers. Got autographs from just people walking around. Uh, food vendors. I've met them. I've met, I meet all kinds of people at Mayhem. I meet... Uh, I met George W. Bush at Mayhem. Nah, that was pretty neat. Twenty-eight. Second to last question. Do I have any favorite sports teams or players? I don't really watch basketball. I don't really watch football. I, I don't watch hockey at all. But I really like baseball. And if I, I I I enjoy individual players more than actual teams. I suppose there's probably a player from each team that I like. But as far as favorite teams, I would say I like the Cincinnati Reds. Before, I liked them a long time ago, back when they had Ken Griffey Jr. Not when they're like a good, you know, team now that really contends for a title. And the second team, same goes with them. I like the Texas Rangers because when Josh Hamilton was on the team, I liked his story of coming back from drug abuse and well, drug usage or whatever. And being one of the best baseball players that I've seen in the last 10 years. I also like Ian Kinsler, he's pretty cool, Tim Lincecum. Uh, that's, I like baseball. Last question, number 29. You can't even make an even number. Should be 30 questions in here, but no. Has to end at 29. The best and worst thing about reviewing. The best thing, in my opinion, about reviewing is, uh, Probably positive feedback, or a lot of likes or a lot of views, some type of feedback to show that people actually care. I mean, I, I don't really expect people to go out of their way to watch our videos and stuff, and you know, I have humility about it, and I can admit that some of my older reviews are bad, and really bad, but um, it's nice to get positive feedback every now and then. Um, worst thing about reviewing? is that people on YouTube.com do not know the definition of opinion sometimes. Um, that's all I can really say. To elaborate on that, I, I don't think I will. Um, sometimes YouTube people just kind of suck, you know? And that's why uh, we're going to accept that contract offer from Fox. And we're leaving YouTube in the coming weeks. We're, you can see us on Fox News at five, two o'clock at channel three and three and seven at four o'clock and sixteen. You know. You catch us on TV anytime you want. I mean it's no big deal. That's those are my questions. This is my sketchbook with stickers and uh thank if you watch this, thanks. Really. Bye.